a landscape that is the work of Mother Nature and maintained with the help of its woolly custodians. Right, today I'm going to take you around a golf course I was a member at over 30 years ago. And it taught me how to play this game or a number of shots that you wouldn't ordinarily find on every golf course. There's a bit of wind, there's something even lies. And as you can see, there's a few visitors that you mightn't expect. I last part this in uh, 98. It's been a while. And what I forgot to mention, there's a challenge hole coming up. a perfect example of what I just said uh, never guaranteed a level lie and that one's uneven to say the least uh, in theory should pull down to the uh, left hand side but you've got literally left leg is planted probably about six inches lower than my right and that's not easy that ball hasn't pulled over to the left as it should have done but it's not a bad strike off that lie. And then just a kick to the right as well to make matters worse. Unashamedly rugged, quirky, friendly. There are a few words that might describe a course that once played will never be forgotten. If Hollywell Golf Club was sat on a Scottish coastline, it would be inundated with high praise from golfers who had never experienced such a unique layout. It does, however, sit 800 metres above sea level, exposed to the elements, and is the epitome of what I would call a real members club. Right, we're in what's called what I used to call it the field and uh, you come out you play three holes which is and this landscape is totally different to the rest of the golf course but this par three used to cause me a few problems it's 175 two bunkers water on the left and uh, yeah it could be uh, an early mess on your card this let's see if things have changed ah, I don't think so is that front bunker I got it a bit of, oh hang on we carried the bunker Oh my, we've gone over the back, so no, things haven't changed. First realistic birdie chance on the front nine. Go on, go on, oh! <laughs> Good effort, Anne. I've already mentioned you get a bit of a breeze up here. I think I've mentioned you get uneven lies up here. And you also get cheap bits up here. There's plenty of obstacles that you don't normally, excuse me, he's not happy at me swearing, I don't think. Wow. Once again, just short of the green, but hopefully that camera picks up just literally. It's like, I think I mentioned a reference earlier. It's like being on the moon at times and everything just, uh, gets that little bit more difficult. And again, just pull that chip down that left-hand side away from the flag. That's my excuse anyway.
like front line out the way and I think that's where you've got a little bit of room it's it's certainly playable in terms of its yardage it's not asking questions in terms of distance certainly the wind like I said is a major defense up here 13th par 4 313 yards again a typical example of where it's not all about yardage but I don't anyway at least pick up driver and start hammering down it when it's a tight neck like that so you've got plenty of gorse on this back nine it gets tighter but the questions will be about how tight the course is how much gorse there is rather than about the distance of it and for that reason I've gone for an iron I've absolutely nailed that that's probably one of the best tee shots of it all day to be fair and do you know what it was still i hit three iron it was probably five right it is challenge time and it is the 14th hole it's 495 yards a par five it's stroke index two and i love this golf hole it's kind of it's it's doable in terms of it offers up opportunities but it's all about how tight it is and making sure you find the short stuff Hopefully, if we've managed to get a bit of drone done, then you'll be able to see that uh, it's plenty narrow enough. And then we get to the final bit, which is a bowl, which I think is the name of the hole. Anyway, shut up, and... Oh, and that is an absolute tee shot. I hope we pick it up on our other camera. That's bounding down the middle of the fairway, and that's a great start to this challenge. Right, that just is as good as I've got. And if you have a look on that camera at the back, you'll see how sort of tight this sort of uh, gets into a bit of a bottleneck. But I'll give that a good old wallop because there's only 227 to the middle. Um, what are we going to do here? Should we try and take this on a bit? Three iron. I won't get there with this, but I'll certainly be getting somewhere up around a couple of hundred yards. In theory, and what a great golf hole. So tight and narrow tempts you to take it on like I said but uh, be mindful oh do you know what I've just hit two of the best I've got go go on then go on go on well the back camera might have got it but the dip the bowl as the hole is called I think the ball has just disappeared so we're on the front it's a long long green but at least we've made it onto that flat surface in two well, I got up in two and I've got to admit, I don't remember doing that an awful amount of times when I was here as a member. But I'm a long way back from the flag. They've extended the screen over the years. And uh, in honesty, I need a wedge here really to chip over that mound because I don't think I can get to that flag. But having said that, I'm not about to take a chunk out of someone's green as a visitor. So I don't think I can get this too close because that looks a little bit too fluffy on the, uh, on the fringe of the screen. But anyway, stop talking get up ah, well I sort of said that I couldn't do it and it did need a wedge but as I said I wouldn't be comfortable with that roll roll do you know what it was a decent enough effort and uh, well it's playing a lot bigger than 495 with that flag right at the very back Managed a par and stoking next two would have been a win. But what a great golf hole. If you just look back down there, what a great green, the bowl green. That's what it's known as this hole, the bowl. Brilliant, brilliant golf hole. Right, so 14, great par five. Then you're onto a great par three. And this stretch really, 14, 15, 16, 17, some great golf holes. A flick with a wedge in theory. What am I playing? 124. It's, there's, it's either green or bust in many respects. A great little golf hole. And uh, I know, again, over the years can be sort of, we're playing 124 and a, and a wedge today, but it can also play a lot bigger if that wind's blowing into you. It's got to come back. It's trying. It's trying. Get a kick. Uh, it's not too bad. Distance was okay. It was always down that left-hand side, but a super little par three. And again, proving that they don't have to be long to be great golf holes. Well, Hollywood was as quirky as I remember it. It's a great track. It's, uh, it's one that you really have to learn to work your way around. And uh, it was another learning curve again today. But a great track here in North Wales and a real credit considering we've just come out of lockdown and the condition of this course was absolutely superb. Well done, Hollywell Golf Club. 
I'll come back a bit sooner next time.